Hi. Today I'd like to talk about the Focal Wolf 190 as well as generally speaking aircraft with an armored windscreen or a thick windscreen that present the issue of refraction in uh, flight sims. So you can see here a picture of a Focal Wolf 190 and um, I want you to pay attention to the very sloped front windscreen and also very thick front windscreen. This, this thickness of the frame is somewhat representative of the thickness of this glass. And uh, for when making flight sims, one of the challenges with this kind of uh, sloped thick windscreen is to try to depict what the pilot would actually see, uh, which is not what you'd think due to the, the issue of refraction. So um, throughout the years, the flight sim community has been very helpful in, in pointing things out. An example of this is Nemesis from uh, one JG27 that quite a long time ago, over 10 years ago, made this lovely video that Showing shows the positioning of the Focal Wolf 190 and a depiction of what the pilot would see by making a little mock-up with uh, a solid frame. And the uh, angling of the cockpit is uh, of, of the windscreen is at 25 degrees and when you look behind the windscreen you can actually see how the refraction of light makes uh, a few opt optical effects so the first thing is that the the thickness of the frame whilst somewhat apparent on the top edge of the windscreen decreases to a much much smaller thickness apparent thickness further away from you and likewise, objects that would normally be blocked by the windscreen, such as placing here a thick barrier of, uh, of surface, is actually seen through due to the way that the light is bent as the speed of light goes through this uh, glass, this medium, where the uh, speed of light is actually different from the speed of light in a vacuum, the light rays bend and then come out towards you from the bottom end of the glass towards your eyes and almost warp the image that you have in front of you. And here you can see uh, an actual um, or closer to a 190 cockpit where you can see the same effect. This, this thickness of the frame that would be quite big is narrowed down to a small um, slit. Um, I've created a model, a very, very simple model of this geometry here. Um, you can see the windscreen sloped at 25 degrees with a glass that goes from top to bottom of the frame. And by default, this is the kind of image that you would have. This is what would be rendered on a flight simulator. And I've put here a big block of, of whatever to sort of represent the area where you have the nose of the plane and you can't actually see through it. That is opaque. So in order to be able to go from this to the apparently narrow frame um, on the bottom of the windscreen, you can always edit the mesh, sort of fake the geometry, try to make the geometry look like what you would see through the windscreen as opposed to what it actually is. Um, fortunately with um, Lumen and the ray tracing technology and just the more advanced shaders in Unreal Engine 5, we can actually model refraction properly in Combat Pilot. So you can see here a scene um, I'm looking through this mesh that I just showed you, exported into Unreal Engine. And uh, in front of us, you see the island on the USS Enterprise. And currently, I have a glass material with no refraction on it. And if you do implement refraction, then you get this result. So what happens here is actually a very similar representation to what was seen in the earlier pictures in the Focal Wolf 190. The thickness of the frame has decreased considerably. Let's do that again. That's without refraction. That's with refraction. And all of the elements have been sort of brought down from this side. If I move right, I can see that the island is where it should be geometric geometrically, and I can still not really see over this obstacle here but with the refracted material you can see how 
the um, the actual rendering is what would appear in reality. Of course, this is new technology and there's still um, a couple loose ends that have to be solved uh, when it comes to the, the rendering of edge cases, such as here you can see a little artifact and generally speaking, it's still um, a work in progress technology, but I'm confident that we can actually model refraction for World War II cockpits effectively without faking geometry and without making any, any compromises. Um, which is pretty cool tech. 